Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Clara and on this channel, I talk about body positivity and self-love for skinny and small-chested girls. So uh, today, I'm just so happy to film this video. A live update about where I'm at in my life, mentally, physically, romantically, whatever you know that comes to mind so i've never really spoken out about how i felt about the pandemic and all the things that going on right now i think at first in like march or april i was really freaked out i was um really afraid and scared i think i always follow the news always follow what's going on around the world the number of cases and stuff like that and it, it really did freak me out but then i got i got bored of it i guess and i stopped watching the news i stopped following the latest updates of course like if there's lockdown procedures or anything like that i'm still in the loop but um not like daily news I just felt like it was too much negativity for me to take in so I decided to like okay let's let's pull back and like protect my energy so I can feel uh, sane and happy so starting in April May and June I was actually in a good place you know like during that time I produced a lot of content as you can see I was feeling all right like the lockdown didn't really affect me that much for the first time ever I really enjoyed my my own company in my house and just producing content having fun with experimenting with content idea and just feel like productive I love releasing two videos a week but then of course I am such an extrovert so over time like I felt really isolated I felt really lonely because like for that whole three months the only person that I actually have a real conversation with is my best friend and I see her like once a month and during that whole three months I didn't really talk to anyone I didn't really meet anyone because of all you know their social distancing and stuff and I really want to contribute to you know reducing the spread of the virus but it really took a toll on my mental health in July like everything finally caught up to me and I suddenly felt so isolated and so lonely and so I started to get into a really 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 deep funk that funk lasted much 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 longer than uh, than i wanted it to last uh at first like i told you i just wanted to have like one or two days off you know maybe like three days off but then it becomes suddenly become three weeks of me not being able to do anything i felt so like i have no energy no motivation and of course because i feel like that i didn't do anything and then not doing anything makes me feel bad and me feeling bad makes me not want to do anything so it's just kind of like a like a negative feedback loop that it was so hard for me to get out I didn't post much and even in September I started a new job in back in July or so so maybe that's also another factor why I just couldn't like balance everything in my life it's, it's harder to like working on a video when you also have a full-time job but you know I graduated from university I am 22 um, starting my adult life Figuring everything out, all the responsibilities, all the ambitions, aspirations that I have and it's like finally after finishing school, it's like dawn on me that this is my life. This is my life and I can do absolutely anything with it and I no longer have homework. I no longer have like a fixed responsibility like school to depend on. I no longer can use school as an excuse for not doing anything anymore. This is my life. I have completely control over my life and I can do anything with it now. At first, I think in June and July, I was like a bit lost, a little bit freaked out because it's like, whoa, I didn't even have the graduation ceremony, right? Like everything was in lockdown. There wasn't a point that I officially felt like that is it for me. Like that is it for school. Yeah, like I didn't really have my last class, didn't really have a ceremony, didn't have any celebration because my family is back in Vietnam. I couldn't meet any friends. So so I basically celebrated graduating by myself by just saying to myself, oh, I graduated. I guess that's good. So that was literally all I did. <laughs> so it's kind of like sometimes as I look back that the, the, the whole university experience for me was blurry at the end, was very blurry at the end. It's kind of like, what just happened i went to school one week and then the next week is like no more school and then everything's online and then graduated with no ceremony no celebration and i guess i'm done i'm done with school so it's kind of like ah. <laughs> Whoa, what just happened 
you know? So um, that took maybe a while for me to like really take it in that I'm graduated now and that I'm officially an adult, I guess. <laughs> So that's for my YouTube and my mental health and my job. Yes, I did start a new job in July and now I'm doing YouTube and my job concurrently at the same time. I'm trying my best to like put out as much content as I can because finally, like finally after the whole funk in July, August, early September, I finally feel like I'm back now, you know, I'm back to the game now. I'm happy, I'm energized, I'm excited, I have lots of content ideas and it's like boom boom boom, I want to get it out. So I am in a much better mental state compared to two months ago or a month ago. If you notice that I stop posting content regularly, it's usually because I'm going through a funk that I'm not feeling productive, that I don't feel like doing anything and like I'm feeling a bit down, so please understand. <laughs> <laughs> and still thank you so much for still being here and supporting me and it's just like means a whole lot to me move on to love because everyone is curious whether I'm still single still available <laughs> or a am I taken so I am still single before getting into relationship I was single for most of my life until I was 18 and then I finally got into my first relationship but since 18 this was the longest stretch of me being single and you know what I love it I love it more than I think I would. It's interesting because most of you who remember, who follow me like a while back ago, that I went through a breakup in January, like very, 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 very early January, like January 3rd, the third day of the new year was when I had my breakup and then it took me kind of like two, three months to finally get over that one. And right now me and my ex, we great friends. We are great friends. We support each other. We understand each other and we still love each other. But it's like a different kind of love, if you know what I mean. It's like I love him as, as a member of my family and I, and I support him in whatever he does. And you know, we kind of leave our romantic past behind and we move on and we support each other even when we may end up with different people. So um, that's me and my ex and right now I am uh, single and looking. <laughs> So the thing is with me, I am, even though, you know, I may appear as very bubbly and whatever on camera, but in real life, like I am, I am mature, you know? <laughs> No, that is not, it, it's not a mature thing to say that you're mature. But what I'm trying to say is that I am a very mature person in real life. If you know me, you know that I am mature and I know what I want in life. I have certain kind of goals that I want to achieve and it's like, I want to get married. I really want to get married. <laughs> because I'm ready for that type of commitment in my life and I know that I have a lot to offer. I really want to find that special person to spend the rest of my life with because I know that I'm ready for it at age 21, even at 20. Now that I just turned 22 a few weeks ago, now that I graduated and I'm at a place in my life when, where I feel like I'm pretty stable financially, emotionally, mentally, and I want to share my life with someone special. So that's my current state in terms of romance i am single looking dating nothing set in stone but uh that's what i really want to achieve i want to get married settle down but no pay no babies no babies because uh, i don't want to have children so for me settling down for me it's just two people right so it's, it's like easy for me so i guess when girls my age think about settling down they usually think about get married and then have babies and have children and like have the whole family so it's it's definitely like a whole lot of responsibilities so that's why i guess mostly people my age or in their 20s want to wait till they 30 to start building a family to start doing all that and selling down and in 20s they just want to date around or whatever casual sex you know so it's kind of like it's not my thing anymore but for me it's like i just want to settle down with one person and live with that person for the rest of my life with no kids and we will travel the world you know that's like my the ideal version or like my ideal vision my vision for the ideal life <laughs> and so for me selling down and getting married is simple it's just two people signing a paper have a ceremony boom that's it you know so that's like my life in a nutshell I hope that this video have helped you to understand me a little bit better understand where I'm at a little bit better and making this video was super 
of fun. It was just like me being myself and just talking. I know that I say it before, but I love, I love, I love making videos when I don't really have to follow an outline and follow a script. I can just be myself and... <laughs> And, and and be goofy and be, be free because this is me, you know, I can be very 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 emotional though If you see my video, I cry, you know, I cry in my video I, I'm not afraid of being vulnerable and real and honest with everyone because this is just me I'm an open book. I am just very happy and grateful to be at this stage in my life right now I know that I'm at a good place, you know, and sometimes I can forget that though the mind can really trick us. Sometimes it's like, oh, we have this problem and that problem. Ah, oh, and then overthinking and like, ah, oh, my life is a mess, you know. But no, like lots of time I have to like step back from all that overthinking and all that worrying and all that fear to remind myself that, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You have a good life. Focus on the good. Okay, you may be single, but like you're young. You have time. You don't have to get married tomorrow. You know. Sometimes like. Like that that switch is like really turned on and I just really want to like buy someone so bad and, and like just settle down and not playing like the dating game anymore like it's too complicated too many people not that I did too many people don't take it that way but like too many like options too many things to figure out too many things to worry about and I can just get really 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 overwhelmed the same thing with work as well like I want I have these big goals but like at the same time I'm like how can I figure it out like how can I just get there I want to get there but how it seems like such a long road and there's so many steps and there's so many things to do like Bruh! and there's there's lots of you know always dramas and like problems coming up and struggles but you know at the end of the day if I take a step back and take a take a take a breather take a breath take time to breathe and if I if I take time to breathe then you know life is Life is good. Life is good. I have a job. I have great family. I have great friends. I am young, beautiful, smart, and I deserve, I deserve success and I deserve love. And we all, we all do. We all deserve the best in the world. I know that you are a beautiful masterpiece yourself. I think that we all deserve good things on earth. No matter what life throws at us, sometimes we can get really down on our feet and it's like we feel like giving up but I think it's the point of life. For a long time I always think that you know I, I want to be happy all the time. I want to be positive all the time but I realize now that it's almost impossible. No it not almost it is because life will challenge us and those challenges will help us grow and it's all part of our journey growing to be a better person to be the best version of us and you know sometimes you know life can get tough we all have our own battles you know we all have our own struggles and what you see online is not at all not at all a reflection of what's truly going on in their life I feel like I have overcome the tendency to compare myself to other people because I know that they're going through stuff too and nobody's life Life is perfect you know even the most beautiful the most successful the most I don't know the richest people on earth like their life is not perfect and I think because it's not perfect that's why it's beautiful and so yeah it's just my little philosophy about life it's really great time talking to you even though it's just me talking but uh, I hope that somehow maybe I make you laugh maybe uh, you feel resonated related to uh, what I said about you know adulthood about fighting love I think that that's it uh, <laughs> but I just want to say that I love you I am very grateful to have you here and um, thank you I hope that you have a great day a great night a great sleep a great whatever you're doing till next time love yourself be kind to yourself and treat others the same way <laughs> i love you bye bye